So going to the salon is supposed to be relaxing, but if you aren't careful, it can actually cause you a lot of stress. And I talked to an expert about what you need to know before your next nail salon day. Observer reports 75% of nail salons in the country don't disinfect their tools up to standard. So I'm here with Dr. Perry Godsey. She has five safety tips you need to know before getting your nails done at the salon. So let's start with number one. So number one is the foot bath. Foot baths can carry bacteria, they can carry fungus, and this can lead to infections. So what can you do to combat that? So what you can do to combat that is go to a salon where they offer disposable liners. Something like this. So this is disposable one-time use and this will you know, prevent you from getting contamination from the potential bacteria. Exactly. Okay, so that leads us to tip number two. What is this? So this is tip number two. This is a portable magnetic jet. And this is what you want to be requesting because the piping that's in the foot bath they can also carry bacteria that can lead to infections. So when you have a portable one like this, it's individualized, they sanitize it after every single visit, and then that way it's kept clean. Okay, so this is really important, making sure that the tools are sterilized, which is tip number three. Exactly, you wanna pick a salon that has an autoclave machine, and this is the same device that we actually use in doctor's offices to clean bacteria, and any blood contamination that can occur on the tools. Because barbicide and UV sterilizers aren't always 100% effective. Exactly, they're good, but this is the gold standard. So Dr. Perry, not all tools can be sanitized, which leads us to tip number four. Exactly, so tools that are non-metal, such as the pumice and the nail files, the emery boards, they cannot be sterilized. And so what you're gonna wanna do then is make sure that you find a salon that has the packages that are one-time use or somewhere that will allow you to bring your own stuff from home. Okay, that's good to know. So now let's go into tip number five, our very last tip. So our last tip of the day is you want to make sure that you have it freshly shaven your legs right before you go and get a pedicure. Okay, why is that? Well, because shaving can basically cause some microscopic breaks in the skin and that can allow bacteria to enter, which could potentially lead to infections. Thank you so much, Dr. Perry. So where can we go for more women's health tips? So you can find some more health tips on my website, drperry.com. All right, there you go, you guys. Happy pampering. <laughs> All right, let's talk weather systems here. We don't have one, we got two. <laughs> one of those clearing out to the east. We're kind of in